And here we go again. Congress ending the week and they're not any closer to funding the government and we have a September 30th deadline. Our national correspondent Atra Elnishar joins us live from DC with the state of play and Atra how many times have we talked about this? If we even just had a nickel for every time we brought this up, we may be able to retire. Retire or have enough money to fund the government ourselves, Kim. House Speaker Mike Johnson has struggled to get his razor thin Republican majority to fall in line and back the six month temporary budget with a controversial voter ID bill attached to it that he wanted and that former President Trump wanted and has been pushing for on social media. In the end, though, we saw the legislation fail to pass the House. Uh, about 20 or so Republicans joined Democrats in voting it down. So now attention turns to what many believed was inevitable from the start, and that is a straightforward three-month budget that extends current funding levels. It would allow Congress to avoid triggering a partial shutdown and punt the work of crafting a true budget until after the election, when maybe nerves will be calmer, uh, people will be a bit, you know, tensions might not be as bad, maybe that's wishful thinking, but it will also be right before the holidays when lawmakers just want to go home. Uh, there may be some additional disaster relief and secret service attached to a temporary uh, budget, but nothing is certain at the moment. Nothing is in ink. But whatever the package looks like, Kim, it's got to get done quickly because, like you said, they've got 10 days before the deadline. And no party ever really wants to be responsible for a government shutdown, but certainly not six and a half weeks before Election Day. Um, Republican minority leader within the United States Senate Mitch McConnell has a quote. I don't know if I have it exactly right, but I think it was something to it would be stupid for us to do this and not fund the government, something along those lines. Thank you, Atra, and it's you're right. Dumb. We could probably <laughs> fund the government as often as we've talked about this if we were paid. Thank you, my friend. Yeah.